Hello children and welcome to our special English hour. Here we learn lots of new things while having fun. Are you ready? Let's get started. We will start our day with a fun tongue twister. Do you remember the tongue twister that we used in our previous sessions? Yes, it was Fred Fed, Ted, Bread. Do you remember this? I was able to say it very fast. Now, I will try to add one more line to it to make it a bit more challenging. The tongue twister is Fred, Fed, Ted, Bread. Ted, Fed, Fred, Bread. Sounds easy? Let's try to say it a little faster. Fred, Fed, Ted, Bread. Ted, Fed, Fred, Bread. It's a bit difficult. I'm not sure if I will be able to say it fast. I will give it one more try. Fred, Fed, Ted, Bread. Ted, Fred. Oops. I was not able to say it. But you can try saying it. Now on your screen you will see the tongue twister. Make a note of it in your notebook and try to say it faster. To make it even more challenging try to say it faster five times. It is very important to learn new words in order to learn a new language. So now let's learn some new words that we will come across in today's lesson. Extinct 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 The dinosaurs are now extinct. Eruptions, eruptions, eruptions. There are many records of eruptions in Japan. Crater, crater, crater. The crater is still active. Tremendous. 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 He took tremendous efforts to win this race. Dormant. 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 There are many volcanoes that are now dormant. So children, I hope that you have made a note of these words in your notebooks. And I hope that you remember these words. Now, let's read a lesson from our textbooks. Please open page number 34 of your textbook. Now I will be reading this lesson. What I want you to do is point at the words in the textbook as I read it. And if you don't have a textbook, listen to me carefully. 
Enak Krakato. Krakato is an island in the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. It is known for its volcano which erupts regularly. What is a volcano? A volcano is a crack or opening in the earth's crust. There is hot molten rock near the earth's center. Sometimes it rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack or opening and flows out. When this happens, we say that the volcano has erupted. This lesson is about Krakato. Krakato is a place in Indonesia and this place is very famous for its volcanic eruptions because they happen regularly. What is a volcano? When there is molten rock in the center of the earth, sometimes it just comes out of it. And when it comes out of it, there is a crack in the surface of the earth. And when that happens, we say that a volcano has erupted. A volcanic eruption happens on a tremendous scale. Thick, dark clouds of smoke rise high from the opening and spread in the sky. Big glowing burning chunks of rock and red hot lava are thrown out of the crack in the earth. Very hot mud and ash are also thrown out. A great volcanic eruption can change the landforms in an area. Children, have you ever seen volcanic eruption on television? It happens on a very large scale. There are many things that come out from the crack of the earth's surface. First, you will see dark smoke that comes out. Then, there are many particles like rock that come out of this earth's surface. Along with that, there is also ash that comes out. Whenever there is volcanic eruption in any area, there are different landforms that get created. Volcanoes are popularly classified into three categories. Active volcanoes. Active volcanoes erupt regularly. Dormant volcanoes. Dormant means temporarily inactive or in a deep sleep. We find information about the eruptions of these volcanoes in history, but now they are quiet. Extinct volcanoes. Geographers can guess by looking at the rock formation that they used to erupt long, long ago. But there is no record of it in history. An extinct volcano is unlikely to erupt again. There are three types of volcanoes and they are active, dormant and extinct. Active volcanoes are those that erupt regularly. Dormant volcanoes are those that are temporarily inactive. and 
extinct volcanoes are those that were once active but currently are not. These type of volcanoes are unlikely to be active again. Krakato is an active volcano. It has erupted many times causing great disasters. The worst of the eruptions took place in August 1883. The volcano erupted with such a loud boom that it was heard more than 3500 kilometers away in Australia. It is believed to be the loudest sound that man has ever heard. The island which was a volcanic mountain collapsed on itself. The dust that was thrown up in the eruption rose to about 80 kilometers in the sky. It spread in the sky around the world and later settled in different parts of the world thousands of kilometers away. Krakato is an active volcano. Here, eruptions happen regularly. One such eruption is very famous. This was in the year 1883. The eruption was so loud that it was even heard in Australia. The smoke and the particles that came out of this eruption rose high and as high as 80 kilometers. The dust was scattered in many parts of the world. The eruption caused giant waves or tsunamis in the sea near the island. About 165 villages and towns were destroyed due to the eruption and the tsunamis. The eruption destroyed two thirds of the island of Krakato. It collapsed beneath the surface of the sea, creating a huge underwater volcanic crater or hole. The hole was more than 6 kilometers wide. The destruction that was created was huge. Around 165 villages were destroyed during this eruption. This eruption also created tsunamis. The impact of this destruction was huge. Then, in 1927, a plume of smoke rose out of the water on the crater. It was followed by another eruption. A few days later, a new island volcano broke water. How did it happen? When the underwater volcano threw up ash and rock, it was quickly taken away by the seawater. But then the lava started flowing out of the crater faster. This volcanic material was not all taken away by the waves and a new mountain began to grow. It kept growing and was soon seen above the water. Thus, a new island grew from the old island of Krakato. It was named Anik Krakato or the child of Krakato. LIC Prasthut, Beyond Thoughts, Vicharancha Palikalli.
बियॉन्ड थॉट्स विचारांच्या पलीकडले शनिवार रविवार संध्याकाळी साडेसात वाजता पुन्हा प्रसारण रात्री दहा वाजता आणि दुसऱ्या दिवशी दुपारी दीड वाजता प्रस्तुत करता एल आय सी जिंदगी के साथ भी जिंदगी के बाद भी एंड ऍश केम आउट ऑफ इट अँड दिस वॉज टेकन बाय द सी वेव वेन द सी वेव टुक द ऍश अँड रॉक्स इट स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग अ माउंटेन अँड सडनली द माउंटेन स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग वन फाईन डे it started coming up from the water below and thus the mountain was created since this mountain came from krakato it was named as anak krakato which means son of krakato or child of krakato a part of the old island known as rakata is still visible in the sea a little away from the new arrival anak krakato after krakato's eruption in 1883 all the surrounding islands and coasts were covered with hot ash no life remained when a scientist visited it in 1884 he found just one spider there during the volcanic eruption of 1883 the island got completely destroyed there was practically no life left on the island in 1884 a scientist visited the island and can you guess what he found there he found no trace of human life on the entire island there was only one living creature that he came across and that was a spider but the living world on rakata was not lost and gone forever the wind and the sea brought seeds of plants to the island some seeds came with the birds who flew over the island plants and animals that live in the sea came to the coasts again small land animals like ants termites or even rats and lizards travel to the island on plants floating in the sea one edge of the island soon teeming up with plants and animals when the island was destroyed there was no life left but soon the wind and the sea brought life on the island and how was that possible the wind and the sea carried seeds and with these seeds there began to grow many plants and because of these plants there also came animal life so now the island was not lifeless anymore it was like a laboratory where scientists can see how living things slowly develop in an area today scientists can observe this also in a part of anak krakato which does not get covered with volcanic ash the western coast of java was greatly affected by krakato's eruption very few human beings were left there but the wild animals and plants in that area grew in number again in fact the wild life grew naturally since there were no human beings to interfere with it there was no one there to cut the trees 
or kill the animals. So this region became rich in wildlife. As you saw, there was no human life left on the island. But lot of plants and animals were able to create a home for themselves on this island. And this was only possible because there was no human interference on this island. Children, today we learnt a lot about volcanoes. And now it's time to test your knowledge. Are you all ready? We will do a fun activity about volcanoes. On your screens, you will see three images. And these are images of the type of volcanoes. Do you remember the names of the three types of volcanoes? Yes, they were active, dormant and extinct. So you will see three images of these three types of volcanoes. And looking at the picture, you have to guess which type of volcano it is. Sounds easy? Let's give it a try. Children, were you able to guess the types of volcanoes? Let's have a look at the first picture. Can you guess which type of volcano it is? Yes, this is an active volcano. Now, let's have a look at the second image. Hmm... Were you able to guess this one? This is a dormant volcano. Now, the last one. This is an extinct volcano. I hope you all were able to guess these volcanoes looking at the images. Children. Now, let's do another activity. In this activity, you will see a few words on your screens. These words are nouns. What you need to do is find these nouns in your textbook and try to find the verb that is associated with these nouns. And you need to write down the verbs. Sounds easy? Let's give it a try. Children, were you able to find the verbs? Let's have a look. In the first passage, the verbs are opening, rises, flows, happens and erupted. Now, let's have a look at the verbs from the second passage. The verbs are collapsed, thrown, Eruption, spread, rose and settled. Now, let's move to the third paragraph. And the verbs are caused, destroyed, eruption, collapse and creating. And now the final passage and the verbs are living, brought, came, traveled and floating. 
students i hope you were also able to solve this activity i will see you in our next session until then take care and stay safe bye Thank <laughs> you.